Hello everyone, it's your girl Vani J and welcome to my channel. So those of you who are joining me for the first time, hello, how you doing? On this channel, I post videos about life experiences. Um, I make I do reviews and recommendations about places that I've visited while traveling for work, as well as pleasure, and a few DIYs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right down there. So today we are going to be doing a DIY. I always say it wrong, so please forgive me. I'll be saying DIY, whatever, but you get what I'm talking about, okay? So today we're gonna be doing a DIY. And for me, DIYs are very therapeutic. It's something about creating something with your hands that's just so like, you know, you could be in a bad mood and I'm just like, let me create something. And it just boosts your Ah, energy. Anyway, so today I'm gonna show you how I turn this 1960s vintage Samsonite suitcase into a work of art and give it a little upgrade. So if you're interested in, stay tuned. Recently, I have been traveling a lot with my job and taking a few personal trips. I currently have a carry-on that I love, but I wanted to personalize my suitcase by documenting all the places I've been, kind of like a suitcase scrapbook. So I am a sucker for old school vintage vibes and decided that's the type of style luggage I would look for, and I lucked out. I found this gorgeous vintage suitcase set on Facebook Marketplace for $30. The previous owner said the set belonged to her grandmother. So let's make her grandmother proud with this transformation. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in. Hot. So here is my canvas. The first step is to clean. I mean, thoroughly clean and wipe down this here suitcase. After we clean it, wipe down the outside, we're gonna remove the lining. So I laid down some plastic and put on some gloves because I wasn't sure what to expect and started to rip the lining out little by little. Now, that was more work than I thought. Um, I just finished gutting the suitcase, um, just ripping everything out so that I can completely start with a clean sleep. Look at all that dust, grime, Lord have mercy. This suitcase is very old though. But yeah, I'm going to gut it, throw all this contents away and completely disinfect and clean the inside. So after seeing how dirty this suitcase was, I was like, mm, a towel and rag is not gonna do this. So I decided to submerge it completely into water and give it a bath with some bleach and some um, stain remover and disinfectant, good to go. All right, so I ended up giving her a bath. And this is the final result. Look at it, fresh and clean, man, fresh and clean. So this project is actually very supply heavy. Um, this is what I have left over from the original piece of the suitcase. I'm going to clean this and reuse it. These are the wheels that I'm going to insert. I'll put the information in the description box of where I got it on Amazon. I'm also going to be installing the handle so I can pull it up and, you know, use the wheels. Um, I have some paint because I'm going to be doing a little special design, Pinterest inspired. Um, I have a thing for sunflowers. So I'm going to make a sunflower theme um, design on the front. You'll see that later on in the video. Got my glue gun. I love this glue gun. 
my co-workers actually got this for me as a going away gift um, many years ago not many years ago but still I love this with them and um, these are the stickers that I'm going to add for all the different places for the scrapbook theme and then I have my fabric so I found this at uh, my local thrift store it was a dollar I love thrift store shopping. And this is what I'm gonna replace for the inside. Um, I will already washed it, so it's clean, it's good, ready to go. Got my paint supplies for my, um, my mural that I'm gonna put on the front, and my tape measure, so let's go. Shout out to my hubby for coming with this brilliant idea to use this piece of paper as a guideline for my so wheels. So each wheel has these um, screw indents and that is what I'm going to screw into the base of the suitcase. So that's what the paper is going to do. Give me a guideline and then I'm a measure so everything is um, in order and accurate. Boy, look at that craftsmanship. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I was like, yes, it rolls, it rolls. All right, progress. The handlebars are installed. I just um, found the middle of the suitcase. And then from there, I made my measurements to um, get you know, as, as, as centered as possible. But yeah, not bad. Progress. So it's getting pretty late. Um, I've installed the wheels and the handlebars. The next step, I realize I need like some kind of cotton or something to go in the inside of the suitcase before I put the fabric over. So tomorrow, I'm, when I wake up, I'm going to get some uh, cotton liner to put on the inside, a little bit of insulation. And then from there, I'm going to install my fabric. So that's the next step. Okay, so I just removed the handlebars for a moment because this side of the suitcase is going to be where I put my state stickers. And because, you know, the handlebars are gonna be there, I'm gonna put some of the states around here so it blends in with the suitcase. I'm gonna show you guys in a moment what I mean. So I filled in the back, no rhyme or reason. I was just putting them randomly because this is where the handlebar is going to be. So because I'm gonna put the handlebar on top, when I add additional stickers, I can just add them around what is called my base. So places I've gone like Connecticut, I've been to Connecticut. We just went to the Grand Canyon, I was in South Carolina, but like those are the stickers that I have so far for all the places that I've been so far. I used to live in Illinois. I just came back from Arkansas, but yeah. Then when the handlebar goes over it, I can just fill in the stickers around it and it would be seamless. All right, so I've installed the cotton lining. I did this because I have the screws poking out from the handlebar and this provides a little cushion and it also insulates it. So that's the base. I'm gonna hot glue glue this around and then put the fabric on top. So, the cotton is down and now I'm putting the fabric in. I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife to get a more precise cut around the edges and then I'm gonna glue the fabric down. All right, the lining is in. It's not completely perfect, but I'm going to go around the edges with the ribbon to create a more finished look. But so far, so good. All right, so the suitcase is lined with the fabric. I'm really feeling this fabric. I also um, added some contact paper 
because I'm going to reinstall this middle piece. Um, so I'm going to attach it to this so that when I have clothes on this side, the flap is able to close and buckle with that piece that I saved. All right, so to make it a little cleaner, um, here is where I'm gonna put the ribbon around. And I'm just gonna place the ribbon around the edge for a more finished look. All right, now that the inside is done, I'm gonna start on the outside with my design. So I got ahead of myself. What I did first was I sketched out the lines of the sunflower. I'm gonna make the sunflower in the corner. I started painting, but I'm gonna go in. I, you know, did a rough draft. And as I paint, I'm gonna add dimension to it. Candid camera <laughs> footage from my husband's phone as I was in my groove, just painting away. I was really in the zone. So this is the final product. Um, and that's the thing, you can make it what you want. And for me, I love sunflowers. I put shine, I might add bright later, but um, yeah, just make it your own. I added a Proverbs at the side. So whenever I go, wherever I go, I always bring God with me. And then these are the stickers on the back. So they will fill up as I travel and go to different places and see different uh, national parks. This is what the inside looked like, the lining. These are just some postcards that I had um, from Charleston, my trip to Charleston. The artist I will leave in the description box. I just love how it reminds me so much of a scrapbook. So everywhere you go, you can take a little piece of that with you and the memories and it's ever changing and it's to your style but um i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope it inspires you to try something different and something new but as always thank you for watching and continue to create a life you love